Hi, this is Harold. I'm today leaving the quarantine center. So I've returned to China. Very excited that after 10 days, I can now finally go back to Beijing. And um, when I left for Singapore, the rule was still two weeks quarantine, uh, some places even more. It was all very complicated, but I was lucky in the two weeks that I was in Singapore, uh, the regulation changed now all over the country, or at least in most places, what I know of. They reduced it to what they call 7 plus 3, so it means you have to stay 7 days at a quarantine center. And if you live in that city, then you can go home for the last 3 days of observation. Um, as I flew to Nanjing, I don't have an apartment in Nanjing, so I had to spend the 7 plus 3, the whole 10 days at this uh, quarantine center and um, but still that was just 10 days so definitely much less uh, than it used to be actually I had a colleague <laughs> from my company who had flown to Singapore a couple of times before uh, back and forth and he had stayed up to 21 days in quarantine at times he also had to quarantine in Singapore so in total over the last two years he calculated he spent more than 200 days in quarantine isn't that incredible um, i just want to quickly show you what this quarantine center looks like so it's a small bathroom not much to see here oh, still let me turn on the light so yeah it's really small it's not very clean um, obviously there's no cleaning service it's not a hotel so you have to do all the cleaning, which I did not do on the last day before leaving. Um, then there's, there's a, they gave us a lot of stuff like toothbrush, like tons of, um, you know, like um, this kind of poison <laughs> against viruses, all kinds of, of alcohol, of towels, of, of, of things to, to make sure we can disinfect everything all the time. Um, so yeah, here's the entrance. The door has never been locked, so we've always been able to open the door. Um, but we're not supposed to go outside, obviously, especially without a mask. Um, we're only allowed to open the door basically to get the food and to get frequent COVID tests, uh, which they do in the mouth, not in the nose. So it was definitely much more comfortable than some COVID tests in some places. Um, yeah, there's a little bed. Uh, not a little bit. It's a nice bed. It's a hard bed, like typical in China. I like them. They're they're good for your back, but if you're not used to them, they're not not as soft as Western mattresses. Then there's this wooden kind of sofa with a with a table. Um, yeah, it, it, it's small. Well, it's not tiny, but it's not big. And the thing is, ten days without. Uh, getting anywhere outside you really get anxious you get bored um, and your body starts to feel uncomfortable because you don't move enough I mean you can walk in circles but after a while you get really bored um, good thing it has windows so I have at least some kind of view I could even open the windows they did um, at one point when I opened the windows all the way and and hung my clothes outside to dry uh, they called me and <laughs> said I shouldn't open the windows because neighbors are worried that the virus would blow over if people open the windows. Silly, uh, maybe, but again, I mean, I, it's not a big deal. Um, so then I just open it a little bit to have some fresh air. <laughs> but at least, well, compared to Singapore, where all the hotels do not allow to open windows. So, yeah, it was okay. That's the room that I've spent the last 10 days now finally uh, packed and ready to go. So I just wanted to show this. Quarantine is now reduced down to 10 days in China, which is definitely a good thing for people planning to go to China. They also will increase the number of flights and um, it should be more and more easy to get visa. Um, hopefully in the next few months it will be possible even for tourists to visit China again. Let's see how it develops. Uh, legislation, regulation in China always uh, develops quite quickly, so you never know. But let's hope um, it goes well with the, with the new 7 plus 3 rule. I hope there's no 
uh, big new cases tied to the change in regulation. That way they will keep it and, and hopefully it will be more and more open. So thanks for watching and have a good day.